Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on building shiny apps and in this video we will see another example of action button. So here we have the app and on the left hand side in the sidebar panel we have uh, a widget input widget to, uh, to choose the data set and then we have another uh, input widget to select the number of observations we want and down we have the action button so what what we are doing with this app this app basically displays the structure of the selected data set and also displays the observations of that particular data set or whatever data set the user wants based on the number of observation that needs to be displayed so currently it has six observations and six observations are displayed and data set was iris so these observations are for iris so uh, the idea behind this uh, demonstration is to use action button to control the reactivity uh, partially so what is happening is as the user changes the data set the structure the, the heading and the structure changes reactively without any dependency on the click of button even. However, if there is a change in state, either the data set or the number of observations, the observations are not going to change until and unless the user clicks on this update button. So let's go ahead and see what I mean. So I change, I want to see the structure of say pressure data set and also the observations. So I select the pressure data set, look what happens. So we saw that the first of, that first of all, the heading here says structure of data set pressure. Also now we see the structure of the pressure data set however there was no change whatsoever on the observation observation section the heading is still says first six observation of data set iris it should have been here pressure and also the uh, corresponding um, observation should have been there but it's still showing iris so how can we get the pressure uh, data set observation here? Simple, click on this button. Okay, if we click on this button, we see first six observations of data set pressure and also the observation. Now if I want, say I want nine observations and I increase the number of observations to nine, you see there is no change because this is uh, any change in input, um, which has uh, um, uh, something to do with the uh, observation is control using the action button. So let's go ahead and click on this button. And we now see we have nine observations versus six earlier. Uh, and um, we, we now see nine observations on pre um, data set, uh, pressure data set. So basically the, the observations piece here is control using um, action button. Any change in input would not uh, reflect changes in, in this section until unless the observation, uh, sorry, action button is clicked. However, the structure uh, section uh, uh, is still reactive. We are not controlling it or creating a dependency. So let's go back to our studio and, and look at our code. Okay, we are in our studio and looking at the ui.r file. Uh, load the shiny package. And then we have shiny UI function telling R that we are in the uh, user interface um, script. We have fluid page, title panel, displaying the title, demonstration of action button and isolate. Then in the sidebar panel, the first input widget we had uh, was select input. This is to display the list of uh, data set and allows user to choose a particular data set of choice. Choices are given using the C function, iris, pressure, empty cars, and whatever whatever is the choice from 
from the user gets stored or, or can be accessed using data set this is the input ID next uh, moving down we have another widget which is numeric input and this is uh, uh, which, uh, this is the widget which allows user to select the number of observations that needs to be displayed by default we are uh, showing six inputs so um, when, when the app loads uh, it shows by default as six observations and also uh, in the main panel we see six observations displayed the input uh, whatever is selected by the e, e user gets uh, stored or can be accessed using OBS which is the input ID in this case then we are printing a few instructions here just to help the user finally we have the action button the ID is act which could be uh, used in the server.r we will see in a few minutes and the label is click to update view um, you can change it as per your need but basically this is the label which gets displayed on the button again we have some help text um, down in the main panel what we are doing is we we are displaying four things so first of all we had two sections um, not basically sections but I'm just um, telling it then addressing it as sections uh, so that we can understand the first piece was structure and then we had the observations on the uh, just above this uh, structure is displayed we uh, we have some text to uh, uh, to say that okay structure of whatever data set so this is where we 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 get this uh, text displayed followed by the actual structure of the data set and this case we want it to be a verbatim text output so we used that function verbatim text output function and we just follow the syntax structure is coming from server.r we'll see server.r in just a few minutes um, and data name is also coming here from server.r it's the output id Below, we, for, for the observation section, again, we have uh, some text which we are pr printing here. Observation is coming from server.r. It's the output ID in server.r, and we are just printing uh, whatever that, um, just above the ob tab observation table, we are printing up how many observations, six observations of virus data set, or, or nine observations of pressure data set. And finally, in the table output, um, we are displaying the table uh, with the observations in it and, and view is uh, another output ID coming from server.r so this is basically the ui.r let's go to server.r and see um, what is happening in server.r in server.r we first load the required packages then we have shiny server function telling the uh, telling r that we are in the server side script in shiny server function we have input output and the first render function we have here is render text this is to display the um, heading just above the um, the um, output where the structure is displayed and we say structure of the data set whatever uh, user selected iris or pressure or empty cars and that is coming using the input id data set and we are accessing it using input dollar data set the outcome of this paste function is then stored in uh, or can be accessed using uh, the output id in this case is data name data name could be used in the ui.r to display the uh, the outcome of this paste function or render text um, function in in the main panel then we have uh, another uh, uh, render function to which could be used to display the structure and we have used in this the str function uh, to to fetch the um, um, to return the the structure and what we are doing is uh, we are applying the structure function on the data set chosen by the user remember that the um, in input dollar data set will be character type so in order to get the actual value we need to use get so get function on 
whatever uh, uh, was the input variable will give the actual value and then we will apply a str function on that to get the structure the outcome of this render print function will be stored in in the output id or output variable structure which could be again accessed in the ui.r and and we see here um uh, verbatim text output structure to display the structure okay next we have um another um uh, render text function and here is where we are going to use isolate remember isolate goes with action button and this is uh, where we are controlling the um, observation piece so in observation piece we have two things one is the heading saying first x whatever a number of observation user wants first x observations of the data set whatever data set it is right so uh, that is what we are going to print here and also uh, underneath that, that we are going to print the observations again both are control bo both the things are controlled or they have a dependency on the click of action button so the way we do is action button goes hand in hand with isolate so we have a render text input dollar act so what is input dollar act act is nothing but action button the the uh, id of the action button here act so we are trying to access that here so we say input dollar act and then we have the paste function under the isolate remember whatever needs to be controlled has to be under isolate has to be within uh, isolate so this paste first n observations of the data set whatever this should change whenever there uh, whenever um, the action button is clicked not whenever the input changes but uh, if there is a change in the input the output should or or there should be a, uh, the change should reflect only uh, when the button is clicked that's what we are telling by keeping it under isolate next we have render table uh, again a render table uh, this this is where we are displaying the observations so um, this is also uh, having isolate and within isolate we have head this is the function which which helps us uh, to uh, in getting the observations for first few observations uh, in R and we used a head function to get the observation and um, we are passing whatever value uh, how many observations we want and we are putting this under isolate so uh, if you see we have render table again we are accessing the um, action button uh, ID input dollar act and then we have isolate under isolate we have head function to uh, get the um, observations now you see uh, I have commented a couple of things here and we will see uh, uh, how can we use it um, and I will um, ex explain them as well so uh, let's uh, just run the app once again just to see uh, what was happening so we have uh, um, we saw that when the page loads uh, by default we have this um, um, the uh, observations displayed in the table for some reason if you don't want the table to be displayed when the page loads that is where we uh, we would use the um, this logic so let me explain you what happens is uh, when the page loads the um, there is a counter for the action button and the first time the page loads the counter will um, the in the value of the counter will be zero and as we keep on pressing the action button the account keeps on increasing so when the page loads the account will be zero and when you click on it will become one the the value of this variable act will become one next time two next time three and so on so this is a good uh, check we can use uh, if we don't want the observations to be displayed say um, um, uh, uh, until the action button is pressed what we can do is we can say we can use a conditional statement here if 
input dollar act is equal to zero that is when the page loads return nothing else means otherwise if uh, uh, next time uh, when when the button is clicked uh, press uh, uh, sorry um, display the observations so let me uncomment this so we can see its effect we also had um, dependency created here this is the text we are displaying and we also want the text to be uh, displayed in the similar fashion so let me run this app to show you what is happening okay you see uh, since we have put that conditional statement the first time page loads we don't have we don't see anything about the observation here that is because the when the page loads the the action button counter is zero and we we have put the condition that if it is zero don't return anything and let me click on this so that the value becomes one and here we go we see the observation